So um, over here, I have 67 times 23. So in multiplying um, multi-digit numbers, again, just like the addition, what we're going to do is we're going to start all the way over to the right. All right. Um, in this case, what we want to make sure we're going to do is we're going to start with um, our tens column here with the 3. And we're going to multiply the 3 times the 7 and the 3 times the 6. Again, just like addition, when we have a, up to the 1, um, up to the tens, we need to make sure we carry that over. So 3 times 7 is 21. So therefore, I'll have 1. And then I'll bring in the 2. 3 times uh, 6 is going to be 12. Add the 2, which will be 14. Now, the difference when doing multiplication that we've got to make sure we have, especially with our digit, is all right, so we did the multiply 3 times 7, which is 21. 3, huh? Yeah, it is 18. What, what did I say, 12? Oh, OK, sorry. So that would be 18, so that would be 20. Thank you. Um, so now, the important thing that you guys need to make sure you have is now when we move over, so we multiplied everything with 3. Multiplied everything with 3. Now we're going to multiply the 2. But before we go ahead and do the multiplication with 2, we need to have this placement. And I like to write a 0 and then put a square around it, just because then I know that I'm writing a placement, especially once you guys get up to like 4 and 5 digits. And it, when we get into decimals, that's going to be something very common. It's helpful to understand, why did I have that 0 in there? Oh yeah, that 0 is a placeholder. All right. So now I just do 2. 2, so I can kind of erase this, which is helpful when using a pencil. 2 times 7, which is going to be 14. So I bring down the 4, bring up the 1. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is going to be 13. So now I take these two rows, and then I just add them up vertically. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 4 is 4. 2 plus 3 is 5. And 1 you can bring down there. So then that would be my final answer. OK? Any questions? OK. Um, I just want to go over one more. 